These are peace flags. Buddhists believe that prayers are carried from them in the wind. Andrea and Bob LeBlanc acquired them while in Asia. Traveling is something they enjoyed. And he was always, I think, on this mission to better understand the people of the world. He, um, he knew a lot about the whys and wherefores, but he wanted to experience them firsthand. And all of your American visitors will be able to tell you where they come from. Bob was a professor of cultural geography at the University of New Hampshire. When he wasn't teaching in his classroom, he and his family were learning abroad. Together, they visited lands that were very different from their own. They shared meals, ideas, and their culture with the people they met. And he was convinced that if we did that, um, if more Americans did that, it would be harder to say, make the distinctions of them and us. Bob carried that belief like a diplomat. How many people live in Kai Kai? And always looked forward to his next trip. On September 11, 2001, Bob flew out of Boston on his way to a geography conference. Hijackers were also on board. 10 a.m., back in New York, the Trade Center's South Tower crumbles to the ground. People have said, well, don't you still talk to him? No, not quite, because when Bob and I would talk, it was always unexpected. It was interesting. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't write his lines when he was alive, and I certainly can't write his lines now. Um, so there's this big void, because uh, there was a huge richness about life with Bob. Andrea is now a member of September 11th Families for Peaceful Tomorrows. They're people who lost loved ones on September 11th. While they may support the U.S. troops now in Iraq, they strongly oppose the war. And I started to say, okay, what am I doing? And if I believe that war is not the answer, um, if I believe that the U.N. You know, should be supported by us as well as everybody else, um, then I guess I need to stand up and say so. These are Andrea's words perhaps Bob's legacy. What motivated you to, to place the signs out in front of your house? Hmm. Well, the more, the more war talk there was, the more concerned I became about apathy. That, that does, it's, it's a really frightening thing to me. Andrea has attended peace rallies from Concord to Washington, D.C. Publicly announcing her beliefs has not been easy. I don't know all the stuff Bob would have known. And uh, it's come up often that we wish, we wish we could talk to Bob about it, you know, make sense of this. And his colleagues have said the same thing. You know, Bob would have known. He would have known the bigger ramifications and picture that brought us to this place. Um, and I don't, really. Um, I'm trying. The power of these few simple words comes from the memories that Andrea lives with every day. Terrorism's come as close as it can to the 9-11 families, and um, we don't want that. We don't want other people to experience that. Do you think if 9-11 had not happened, you would be out on the street? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I think because of the position I'm in, it's almost like I feel like I have a, a responsibility to say these things, you know, because somehow it, in a way, has more clout because of that. It's crazy. I mean, why should my voice mean anything more than anybody's who's against the war? But I know it probably does. And therefore, um, I can't be silent. <laughs>